First, the new information obtained by WHAS 11 News today. A letter Dr. Polio emailed to bus drivers over the weekend sharing short-term changes the district is putting into place and listening to the bus drivers. Isaiah Kim Martinez breaks down the email and is talking to parents and students about what's ahead. One of the many short-term solutions proposed by Dr. Marty Polio is having some additional JCPS staffers on board some of the buses with GPS to, of course, help with directions as well as communication. These will be for some of the buses with the more complicated longest routes. The email obtained by WHAS 11 News and then confirmed through JCPS shows direct communication between Superintendent Polio and bus drivers on Saturday, a day after meeting face to face. Polio admitting he and his team should have listened when union leadership pointed out holes in the new routing system. He outlined short term plans the school district will execute, including one, having additional JCPS staffers drive marked vans to take elementary school students home or back to school when there isn't an adult waiting for them at a stop. Two, this will also apply to take home students on late arrival buses. And finally, Polio also said they'll be reducing the length of routes with the most stops, starting with afternoon runs. Tess Sturgeon, an Atherton High School senior, believes choosing Alpha Route, the company hired by JCPS to optimize bus routes, wasn't the way to go. I think it completely ignores any nuance that uh, a bus driver might need in their bus routes. According to Teamsters Local 783, which represents many JCPS bus drivers, Alpha Route officials are in Louisville as of Saturday. The bus driver union telling me drivers practice routes through the weekend. In the letter, Polio says issues of buses crisscrossing the county instead of being focused on one area of town is a longer term fix they'll need time to address. And as for JCPS parents and teachers themselves. And it's been stressful. Uh, I thank Dr. Polio for, you know, standing up as he is. I pray for them daily because of the situation that's going on. They're crossing their fingers, hoping for the smoothest restart whenever it happens. In Louisville, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side.